Hey you, what's good? So I kind of wanted to make this video because uh, last night I read an article and watched some videos about some news from EU. EU wants to pass a regulation prohibiting cash and crypto transactions. Now, while this at the moment is in the form of a dream uh, in the hands of the regulators, uh, this poses a real question, even a few, if I may, may add. First, it makes me understand that those regulators either have wet dreams and unrealistic expectations, or they are very motivated to make you a slave and uh, make every transaction you make visible for them, which is very weird. You know, if you want to buy a vibrator, let's say you want to buy a vibrator, then you better inform your uh, government. Let them know that you are buying it, where you're buying it, and uh, how much does it cost and how will you use it? Okay, they need to know all about that. Uh, this seems to be the overall aim of this regulation. Now, when they enforce, when they enforce banks uh, to strangle crypto transactions, you are probably forced to reveal your wallet address overall, which automatically means that uh, whatever you do is visible. Every transaction you ever make, whoever knows your wallet address, they can see the money moving. Um, so crypto, on the contrary belief, uh, is divisible, meaning that everyone, it's public knowledge if they know your address, you know. So this kind of is in violation of, uh, violation of privacy, but the EU doesn't care about that, let's be honest. So this brings me back the whole circle here. Banks and countries need you, okay? It's not the other way around. They, they need you. And many people like to suffer. It kind of seems so. They enjoy it. It's fantastic for them. And they only complain, you know, they victimize themselves. Now, <laughs> if, you, if you feel that way, you know, call your mommy and let her slap you with all the might in her hand. Make slap. Okay. Uh, so if you feel this way, call in the slap right now. Having money in crypto kind of means freedom. Because uh, if you're pressed too much, let's say you are, you can change scenery. Yeah. Move. Move to a country that appreciates your time, your work, your money. And uh, I know that many people maybe have excuses. Probably some have real excuses, but most in my, my kind of circles away from my circles have like, uh, okay, we can't move because, you know, we have cats and dogs and sick hamster, you know, I have work here. Well, it's not, it's not a work if it doesn't pay you. It barely lets you survive, but not thrive. It lets you barely live. Okay. That's the aim here. So there's a saying, you know, uh, the only idiot can find an excuse. So EU banks are probably forced to apply some pressure to you in the future. And uh, you can do the same. You can close your accounts and take your money and your workforce and uh, take, take it where it's appreciated, you know. And if you think that, oh, you know, they don't lose anything because I don't have anything to lose anyway, you know, I don't have much. It doesn't matter because you win. It's, it's your life, okay? You win either ways. Estonians are moving at the moment from Estonia to Spain. They're selling all their shit here, moving to Spain. Many of them live very, uh, what's the word, frugally. They live frugally there because uh, here we have very expensive, I mean, Europeans' most finest expensive real estate, meaning that you have to probably let your children's children work in order to pay it all off. It's weird. Now, I have sent many letters to banks in the past. 
well, not many, many, but maybe like a handful of letters, saying that, okay, I mean, if you're going to force me, I will close the account and you will lose the business. And you are not shackled down anywhere, okay? You can, you can take your belongings even if you don't have much. If you have money in the form of crypto, you are always free to move, change countries. And many people say that, oh, it's all the same everywhere. You know, it's, yes, yes, there are bad and good things in everywhere you move. But if you feel pressed living here, then you at least need to have or explore other options. There, you know, you can Google it. You can, you can Google and find better options. Uh, if you don't find work right away, you know, I mean, you can just start from zero. It's fantastic. It's thrilling experience starting from zero, kind of. Anyways, I will wrap it up. I will wrap it up here. I just wanted to, you know, make this video in order to say that you are not shackled down. You can choose. Banks uh, need you. It's not the other way around. So I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit that like, smash that bell. And if you dare, subscribe as well. I'm Silly Lamas and thanks for watching. Till next time.